Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Inks and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be continuing our little journey on Zelio and we are going to be adding analog card to it. It's actually analog in, analog out. So we're going to be checking out today the analog output, how the analog output works, how to set it up and how to uh, basically how to wire and all the other bits like that. And if you've been watching my previous videos or other videos before and things like that, so you know me, that I like when I jump on a controller, I like to go through and through to understand what's part of it, what comes with it and things like that. Obviously I don't cover everything. I usually, when I get the product in, I try it, make a video and let you guys know whatever it is. And today we are having this card. This card is four in one. I do like this card. I've never seen, so far, never seen, no. So far haven't seen anybody uh, putting a, a analog input with um with well particularly with the with the i'm talking about particular, particular small relay families uh that uh, analog input can be milliamps millivolts no no milliamps volts and also pt100 temperature probe we're gonna be checking out the temperature probe in the uh, next video but yeah so this card has got that but when it comes down to outputs it's, it can only output 0 to 10 volts it does not do milliamps so there is some form of compromise so yeah that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna be adding this card in to our, our setup and obviously we have changed the plc that can accommodate this this additions because there's a, some zillows can't some zillows can you just look at the side and uh, you should be able to see if there's a plug for it you can accommodate it if there is none you can't so yeah that's what we're gonna do today so all the related manuals, only anything else I believe would benefit you in a possible way is going to be in the description below. So do check it out. I'll leave some good stuff in there every now and then. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Here we are. So uh, first thing, let's plug this thing on. So you should have, if I can move it, you should have a plug like that. And, uh, and, and usually you can go in, uh, online and have a look at what's part of it. Uh, what, what controls can and cannot uh, have uh, add-ons. So this one particularly has, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna plug that on and it sort of clips in. So, and then, <sighs> doesn't do whatever reason, these Schneider thingies, when they, here we go, that's better now, here we go. Now we are fully clipped in and that light is really messing up what we see on a controller itself. So right, so uh, as it comes down to the output, right in here, as you can see, one thing what I like about this, this card as well, again, unique from the other ones, it doesn't have to have external power. He actually feeds his power through the Zellia itself, so all good, no additional wires required. So it will be outputting, we have two channels, we got a, a QB and we also have a QC. Both of them will be, I'll show that in a minute, in the software, how that works. So uh, what are we going to do here? We are going to, let me just unwire this guy in here. What we're going to do, we're going to try to control the drive with this analog output. So that's what we much, I do apologize. I should have, should have prepped myself for that. So uh, we are going to, come on, stop being so annoying. So uh, we're going to put the zero in the zero, right in here. If you are trying to follow me as well, do so. It's cool. So, and the plus, we're gonna be using the channel for QB. So, let's do the QB. Oh. So make sure you plug it in properly. There we go, QB and Q, uh, a zero and a QB. So basically uh, that's the channel. And if I zoom out a little bit, I quickly show you what I put the, in uh, drive. So what I'm gonna do in here for the drive, I'm gonna say uh, plus is gonna go into my A1 for the drive. So uh, we're gonna be using external 10 volt input. And the minus, which is the co R com, is gonna go back, uh, which is uh, com for the drive. It's gonna go back to the com in here. And I'm sure you wanna follow it or not. So uh, yeah, guys, don't forget, uh, I made a video already about the drives, uh, so move. We're gonna probably gonna look at the moving because I'm not sure how the channel's been set, how it's been set up. So yeah, and that's pretty much is, is it. So uh, Q, B, both of them are gonna be your pluses and obviously zero self-explanatory is gonna be your zero. Let's make sure this, let's tidy this up a little bit so it doesn't look so messy. I hate when that happens. So uh, well, yeah, as you can see, my wires are all over the place. So yeah, that'll do for the wiring. 
straightforward. Let's jump into software, get this thing going. All right, here we are. So, uh, guys, we already made a lot of the a lot of things about uh, setting up and understanding how to get yourselves going with the Zelio, uh, Zelio, so Zelio soft uh, in previous videos. Definitely check them out if you are struggling to keep up what we're doing in here. So, uh, let's open up a new project. Select our controller. Add a. Uh, this is going to be this guy in here, and also we're going to add a card, which is this guy in here. So let's add it. So it says in the analog extension is usable only with the FBD language. So do make that in a case because we're not going to be able to do any ladder on it. So for now that will do. So one thing to get yourself set up is, is you got like a like a little window in here. We're going to check that out a bit more in the next video. But by clicking on it, this is where you can actually uh, set up your extensions. So you can see my analog extension is right here. So as you can see, an input IH and uh, an input IJ. We're going to check that out in the next video as well. And there is as well, you can do the ramp uh, acceleration decelerations for your QB and QC. So this is where you can check things out. Also, actually, we're just that. Also, we need to quickly create our small program. So do bear with me. So where is there? So we're going to do uh, it's just basically the start of the drive. Uh, we are just going to do input one in here. Oh, oh another input in here let's join these guys up it goes one there that we set reset for our output then we need an output so we're gonna put the output in here just to start up the drive no we are on we are on q2 and so let's join that up so here we go that will start our drive and keep the drive going until we click the stop or the reset so from there on we need to go into output so an output for uh for the analog outputs you can see that that's xt analog output extension 10 bit so uh do make do make sure that is the case because i'll quickly show you in a minute um, uh, uh, a little bit help guide you have from schneider by clicking some question marks right so yeah we're going to select that one and we're going to pick which output channel we're going to use is uh, qb or a QC. We're gonna go for what did we go? We went for QB. So that's it. And so by double clicking on it, it opens up in a different window. It's sort of you can uh, put some comments into it and things like that. And also, if you want to read up on it by clicking question mark, Schneider has made a fa beautiful, fantastic, beautiful, whatever you want to call it, a, a help guide in here. As you can see down there, the 10, 10 bit integer output functions is ac uh, accessible from the out window and where it is the verge between 0 to 10 volts and a 10 volt being a uh, 1023 so it sort of gives you the range 0 to 1023 will be the full uh, scalable range so that's what we are going to be working on so all right so this is very much in this you can read up a lot of it we're going to be working a bit more in the future with some of the stuff as well so uh, I'm done that. So what we can do, we basically, so for us to uh, really, just for the demonstration purposes, we can, we can use a basic numeric uh, function in here. And we're going to join on to that one. So this will appear now inside a controller. Can we, oh, we can get it inside, literally inside the controller as an editable uh, numeric uh, uh, number, which will output to our uh, output card as well so uh so basically by going in here oh keeps opening a different window so in this pretty much you just uh, if i put 1023 it will be output in 20 volts as you can see there's the ranges obviously there's different types uh, different types of numbers you get uh, different for different type of things this thing, thing can be used but for us, we're just going to be using that as a, as, as a numeric constant. So, uh, having done that, so wait a so second, before we, so what are we doing here? Are we going to load that in to PC to module? Yes, please. Put that in stop mode, uh, run mode after that. Thank you. So, uh, yes, save it. And yes, it's taking its time. So, we're quickly going to jump into so move. So I need to change a couple of things. Guys, we made the last video about so move the drive because uh, I just need to check quickly. Come on, load in. So quickly need to uh, go online. So, uh, yes, so do that. So uh, quickly go online. I need to change the minimum frequency. You don't have to do that. There you go. So start up. So, uh, yes, just keep doing it. 
Uh, yeah, and we need to check as well a couple of parameters in a minute to make sure that our analog input is being set up uh, correctly on our drive. Because drive is the one that's going to be receiving our 10 volts from the card. So uh, we're going to change this here. Come on, load in. You should be in by now. There we go, finally, we got there. Let's change that to zero, so make sure that's the case. So you will update that now inside the drive. So because you've done that in here, we can go into parameters. Uh, where was it? It was in settings. I think I think it was an IO. No, it was an IO. It's the one we need to check out. The IOs. IOs. Input outputs. So analog input configuration. What do we have? Yes, yes, that's been set up to volts. Yeah, so we are good. We are good to uh, go. So, so now that we've done that, so you can we can go into monitoring mode, but uh, we already checked out how that works in monitoring mode. So let's jump back onto the um, uh, controller and see how that works. Here we are. So let me just unplug this cable. So uh, let me get you right in because we're going to be running the motor as well in here. So uh, to quickly show you where that numeric value now appears, it will appear in your parameters. If you haven't watched the previous videos, this is how you access it by clicking OK and you go into parameters. As you can see that now, that constant, that's even obviously I could rename it and obviously do all different things for the screening, but it's, for the demonstration purposes, that will uh do so from there on what we can do so let's zoom out and, and sort of uh, get that drive so we could see the digitals in there by clicking start as you can see i clicked the start on it so uh, let's escape that one as you can see my uh, output 2 is on so let's go into parameters and then and by clicking okay, oh no okay next so and then start going up so what we're going to do we're going to increase it by, because remember that number? So let's go to about 500. So that should give us roughly about uh, 25 something hertz. Okay, and here we go. So now the card is outputting 10 volts from the card onto the drive. So the drive now is, oh, I guess that really almost perfectly. 20, oh yeah. So, uh, so that 10 volts has now been sent to, not 10 volts, it's roughly about, I don't know, about 6 volts has been sent to it. Not 6 volts, I mean 5 volts, so let's grab a meter. Ooh, even though we already have a bit of a proof. Let's have a look at it. Right in there. What do we get? What is it? Oh, roughly about 5 volts, so uh, let's go up a little bit more. Come on, get in there. There we go. So, let's go okay okay so there we go that's 8.7 volts that comes out as a 43.7 hertz and obviously you can uh keep going up if you wish to and that ladies and gentlemen how the analog card would work very straightforward very easy to set up let's shut you off so and yeah that's how it pretty much works and now quickly let's jump back to software and show you as well that you can actually do that in the software to change the numbers in the software as well all right, now we are in a, a, a monetary mode, so by clicking, as you can see, the last number we uh, saved it from the controller was 890. So let's start up the drive, just literally by clicking on the thingy, right here. There you go, the drive is on. Double clicking on a uh, numeric uh, constant window, just double click on that, we'll open this window, and yeah, and you can just, let's put in 1023. And that should be a 50 hertz, as you can see in the window. That is exactly a 50 hertz. So, and I don't like when he opens everything in a separate window. And let's zero it. And I uh, should completely stop the drive. And we are going to click that one monitor to turn it off the control as well. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will do for a analog output. In the next video, we're going to be checking out the temperature, how the temperature works, how to get it set up and wire it. So yeah, definitely tune in if you are obviously interested. So yeah, 
ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and it's helping you out and you're well on your way to setting up some cool systems. So, uh, yeah, if you liked the video, don't forget to smash that like. If you're uh, new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Obviously, if you do like we do in here, on that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.